Here's what I want to do for you. Since there is a ton of you guys in the industry and you guys have a ton of questions regarding the setup of Mr. Professional, not only the setup, but also the compatibility and what things you guys can change. I want to make a specific video, but I want to really have you guys participate in that video by dropping your actual question and try to word it as best as possible so that I understand your question and I can actually answer it in the next video. Right over here, guys, I coupled Mr. Professional right here with a Godox MS300. Okay, this is a beautiful setup. It does have a modeling lamp. This one is good to go. This one right here, I coupled with a Flashpoint Explorer 600. I don't recommend this one. This one is crazy expensive. You're looking to spend over $500 on a Flashpoint like this. And well, one of the highlights is that it has this integrated battery right here. And with this battery, you guys can go from event to event to event without having to charge that battery because it's going to give you over a thousand flashes. Uh, and you guys are probably not going to even use it in full power because this thing's 600 watts. All right. So that's a flash that I bought a long time ago before I even thought of buying a DSLR photo booth. This is this beautiful one right here. So I had this one beforehand, but now I'm using it in my production. If you guys are barely getting started and have been using, you know, the old, the older, like the iPad booths, these are great. These are still good. You can still make money in the industry, but you guys have to strategize on how you guys are going to be using these booths. Okay. Because the DSLR photo booth, this is what people want. People want high quality photos, super high quality photos. <laughs> so let's go back to the Godox right here. And, and just a reminder, guys, I know you're probably watching this video right now and you do have questions. I encourage those questions to be posted in the comment of this specific video because like I said, I'm going to gather all these questions from this video and I'm going to answer them on a follow-up video so that you guys stay tuned in. And this is why I want you guys to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Now, let's just be honest right now. If you guys subscribe, I don't make more money, but I want you to subscribe if this is that niche that you are in because if you subscribe, then you can hit the notification and you'll be notified when the video comes out. I don't make money off subscriptions and you guys seen already how much YouTube pays me. They don't pay me much at all, but I have over a thousand videos within the photo booth realm when it comes to the business right here, okay? So on my next video, what I wanna do too, guys, I wanna show you different variations on how to set up your printer. This printer right now is only connected to power. You guys don't see any other cables, right? You don't see any other cables Nope, no other cables, but it's connected to this right here. So here, let's go ahead and print something out. I'm just gonna print out another photo. Um, right there, I look mean. Yeah, let's get that one. Print that one out. So this is gonna communicate right now. This is actually powered to the, um, to a power source right now. And, and that's pretty much it. The printer is also connected to a power source. So I've been trying to find ways to just have the cleanest setup and also a high quality production so that when we hire contractors or we bring in employees to help us scale our business, they don't deal with a bunch of cables and a bunch of connections going everywhere. See that? It's pretty much good to go. All right. So yeah, guys, go ahead and post as many questions as possible. I have a ton of work to do. As you guys can see, there's a ton of things for me to do. I have so much to share with you guys that, um, that I really need you guys to kind of guide me on what information do you need immediately right now. Today, Mondo, the human, he asked me a couple of questions. One of his great questions was, is it possible that we can order just the 12 centimeter base for our existing frame? And so the answer is yes, if it's compatible. So if I bring this up like this, right, it clicks in place. If you have this style, then yes, you can definitely order this 12 centimeter separately, but I have to make sure that I can add it on my website so that you guys can order just these and don't have to buy the entire frame. But if you guys have an older style like this, if you guys see there's an actual screw in here, so the setup is different. And so if you ask me, David, can I buy the 12 centimeter and you have something like this? And my answer would be no, because it's not compatible and I don't want you to order something that's not going to be working for your production. And so uh, shout out to Mondo. And then he also asked me if the booth, Mr. Professional, had clearance here in the bottom so that if we're running a cable, right, the cable that's going here, 
were running all the way down here and it sticks out. His concern was, is this going to be flexing back and forth, back and forth? And the answer is no, because right below here, let me go ahead and, and show you guys. I'm going to put the camera down. Here, let me go ahead and do that. Let me see if I can get you guys. Yeah, I could. You guys can see that there's an opening. See that? Yeah. You guys can see that here. Let me tilt it a little bit. There are cushions right here. And it's throughout the entire bottom plate. So this won't allow the photo booth to tilt back and forth. So there's clearance for the cable to come out and then you can run it to a power source. So this is uh, something that's been thought of. Let me tell you guys something about Mr. Professional right here. I strongly believe that there's always gonna be room for improvement on any booth just because new things arise. However, I do think that this photo booth is pretty close to perfection. And it's not just because I'm using it myself, but because I'm a photo boother. And photo boothers, we know what we're looking for. And I wish that the 360, of course, which was, was much lighter. And there are some designs on my 360 booth that I feel have been great revisions made that have made my life easier. For example, how the cable that goes around the booth. Do I have it in here? Maybe I have it in here to show. It's too dark back here. You guys won't be able to see. But yeah, man, I'm trying to make as much content, but not spin my wheels. And then you guys don't even watch the content because it was a complete waste of my time showing you guys something that wasn't relevant. So for this specific video, guys, one, I'm going to put the link to the Facebook group where I can even reply with a video so that you guys can get a visual. But I do need you guys to post your questions. And then when you're posting your questions, make sure you guys write down your questions as best as possible so that I understand what you guys are asking me. And so also don't miss out on the live streams when we go live on YouTube so that you guys can jump on the platform and ask me as many questions as possible. I'm not making eye contact with the camera right now because I'm looking around to see what else I can point out to you. Here's another thing, for example, guys, like when you buy your Godox MS300 right here, when you buy this bad boy, and this, by the way, this is so great. Uh, here's the thing that I don't like that came included. They came included with this like 14 gauge wire. Look how thick this is. Now imagine us trying to fit this thickness up in that vessel right over there with a thick old wire. So what I did is I'm using a much thinner cable and it's much uh, shorter and it's going, it, it plugs in right in here like this. See that? So I don't have a bunch of cable inside of my booth. So it's all about making little changes that make, like I said, our production a lot more professional looking and cleaner, but at the same time, enhance the overall result. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I ranted on for like eight minutes, but I do feel like maybe I brought up a point that you guys are probably thinking about. And yes, I plan on addressing it as best as possible, guys. Um, the questions, this is a DMP RX. HS, so it's the RX1 HS. The HS I already told you guys stands for high speed. Uh, the next printer I'll be getting is the DMP620A because it does beautiful types of prints and it's not limited to the 4x6, 6x4, and the 2x4. So I'm going to be diving into that print a little bit more. Look at all these power banks that I have right here. These are all power banks that serve a purpose. We have a couple of anchors. We had one earlier on the ground. Uh, charging now the anchor is crazy it can actually power on your printer and have your printer going for over two hours at a party i've done that a couple of times um know guys that when it comes to the 360 booth there's 12 volt uh, power banks and then there's 24 volts so make sure you guys buy the right one and also if you guys are getting ready to get a a dslr photo booth to ante up your production and also increase your photo booth fleet you guys go with an uh, R100, okay? Don't, don't go with anything else because remember, you're buying one of the Canon's smallest, lightest camera that's gonna get the job done for you. If you guys go with like a Canon R50, um, you're gonna need a couple of adapters. It's gonna spend more money, uh, more connections. And so uh, just wanted to put that out there. If you guys have an existing Canon M50, that works as well as the Canon R100, even though Canon R100 is a, is a newer model. So um, I guess that's gonna be a wrap for now. I look forward to your guys' questions and I, I am very confident that 
as you guys are different photo boosters from around the world, I'm sure you guys are going to have some unique questions. I'll see you guys on the next video. Remember to subscribe, not because I, I'm going to make more money off subscriptions. I don't, but because I want you guys to be notified when my video comes out because chances are I'm going to answer your question on that upcoming video. Peace out.